they had over 600 students outside lining Lowman's Crossing, waving American flags to wish them well on their new home. This house for Alan is a long time coming. Alan Babin, like so many who have come before him in service to our country's sacrifice for liberty. We try to give them their independence back. That's what our RISE program is all about, restoring independence and supporting empowerment. We want to empower them and their families to be able to do a lot more than they might in a house that wasn't built specifically for the challenges they face. And these the little things like opening the blinds. I could even do that at my house. And here I can do it and push a button. It's so pretty cool. For other people, it might not be a big thing. But for me, that's huge. You know, as Gary always reminds us, Calvin Coolidge quote, a nation that forgets its defenders will soon itself be forgotten. Everything we can do to remind America that we're supporting our defenders helps us enhance our security. On March 31st, 2003, his unit came under fire. He was a medic in the 82nd Airborne Division, and at one point in time, one of Allen's buddies was wounded. Allen had a choice. He could have stayed in a cover and concealed position or he could get out of that cover and concealed position and run out to save his buddy. And that's what he chose to do. 20 meters across an open field to save PFC height. Unfortunately, an enemy round, an AK-47 round, penetrated the seam of his body on him. There are 20 million veterans alive today. 1,650 amputees and people say, well, you can't give everyone a home. No, but you can give this one a home. So when I come to this one and other ones, it just makes me smile. So many have stepped forward to show their appreciation to Alan for the sacrifices he made. Thank you to our donors, including the Marcus Foundation, the Home Depot Foundation, HEB, and Semper Fi Fund. Please, a round of applause for our donors and our supporters, because none of this would be possible without them. Show me to your roof. Oh, Alan. What do you think, bud? I love it. It's awesome. It is. it is. After over 70 abdominal surgeries, a stroke, meningitis, five brain surgeries, losing 90% of his stomach, his spleen, and part of his pancreas, doctors expected Alan to live out his life in a nursing home. He believes God and his mom, Rosie, had different plans. Alan is a war hero but he became my hero for the battle he fought in his hospital bed day after day after day. Alan's here today because of Rosie. Her passion, her commitment, her love for her son. Please, a round of applause for that magnificent woman. We think the Gary Sinise team is incredible. The foundation has the highest calling in their mission and they just do an incredible job bringing the honor, the dignity, and the respect that our great patriots deserve. Alan is now able to go in and out of the house on his own because there are buttons that he just hits and the door will open and to watch Alan roll out onto the porch by himself is miraculous to us. The independence that that's going to provide to him and to us um, is just incredible. Thank you for the role you played. I'm often speechless and overwhelmed with emotion at what these great heroes do for all of us. For giving our children a role model to follow. Thank you to the entire Babin family for reminding us of the real strength of America. Committed families that are strong enough to assume the call and the burden to maintain this great democracy. We've known each other a long time. And when I look back, it's just absolutely awesome how far you have come. I consider that a motivator for me to continue to serve. You're an amazing man. Let's see that smile. It's infectious. I get to see that smile every day. And Alan's determination has never wavered. If you don't understand the positive attitude that he has, all you have to do is look at the license plate on that vehicle. I've never seen a Purple Heart license plate that said, ouch. So when you think that you have a hard day or something you can't do, you just sit back and reflect on that. This is amazing. Look, Mom, they put the hangers 
and you're high. <laughs> this is so amazing. Just for everybody to take time out of their lives for me. When I look out in the audience, it's amazing to see the support this community is providing to Alan. I mean, this is really what makes this a home for Alan and his family. So, this isn't the key, but this is the iPad that's going to run your house, and it is our privilege to present it to you today. God bless you, Alan. When I started the Gary Sinise Foundation, it was my hope that we could create an umbrella, a conduit, a resource for the American people who care about our defenders, care about our veterans, value their freedom, know where it comes from, to come together as one to show our gratitude and send a message that we never forget. Let's give it another round of applause for the Babbitt family.